Fear. It fears us all. We are afraid to take a leap of faith. But how can we when we have no faith? If the outcome isn't known, we refuse to be a part of same. Fear to leave our comfort zone because there may be no more comfort. So we dwell in that place that is known. Being unhappy in that surrounding, afraid to let go. Then we ask ourselves, why in our life there is no growth? Fear to be a little carefree because we fear what may or may not be. Fear to say how we feel so we live in deceit. Having others believe in things are what they are not. Fear to dream because it may never come alive. So our will to strive is drunk by fear. Fear to run because we may fall. So we crawl. Believing we will reach our destiny by just having thoughts. Fear to be in love because we may be broken hearted. So we build a wall of distrust in everyone. Talking about everyone is fake. With a world so big and wide I refuse to accept your reasoning. Because you're only speaking of the people in your space. Fear the trust because we may be hurt. But yet we are hurt by all our fears. Living in a confined and restricted world of our own because of fear. Fear that if we let anyone in we may be disappointed. But yet we are disappointed by so many choices we make. Fear of isolated us and have us living in our past. Trading power and love for a feeling of fearfulness. Fear of override the faith in us and left us fearful. Instead of living in faith, we live in fear. Living each day with the thought of what if? What if things don't work out for me? What if I'm not smart or wise enough? What if I wasted all my time waiting on what will be? What if, what if, what if? What if I have no records of achieving anything? It only drives fear in us. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. But it seems as though fear is the one we exercise most. Living and dying in our woundedness from our lack of healing. Being fearful of what others may say or think of us. So we live within their expectations. Depriving ourselves from what we can become. And losing battles that could have been won. This battle of fear is more spiritual than physical. Ephesians 6.12 We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But if we can wake up and claim our right to power, love and a sound mind in Christ, we will be free free of fear because we know in whom we trust and he is able to deliver. It hurts as a believer to know we have Christ on our side and we live a fearful life. Always worrying about tomorrow. Always worrying about the unknown. When all we need to do is cast on them our burdens and sorrows. Wake up and live my brothers and sisters. Live fearlessly and walk faithfully, for the time is now and the moment is here.